All right, well, good afternoon, my crafty friends. How are you today? And once again, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is Wednesday, which means it is Crafternoon Tea and a Card with Judy today. So my name is Judy Menlove, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Markham, Ontario, Canada. Okay, so I'm just going to wait and see if anybody pops on, and I'm going to see if I can get this to show up in my iPad. All right, I'm there. Wow, that's unusual. Usually it takes me forever to to get it to work, but um, yeah, just pop right on. Okay, so let me tell you now. So I am not using uh, data today. I am using regular internet. So I got a mesh system. Don't ask me what it's all about because I have no idea, okay? I just know that the internet was not working in the basement. So anyway, so I got this mesh system and I had the Geek Squad come on Sunday and install it because I never would have been able to figure it out. And anyway, so fingers crossed, so far it is working really well. Hi Jean, thanks for joining me today. Uh, yeah, so anyways, we're going to see how the internet goes, and if it um, craps out, I'm going to scream, okay? But now, having said that, uh, hey Cheryl, thanks for joining me. Okay, so having said that, the internet <laughs> on, the, on the street around the corner from me, uh, I believe they're putting in fiber cables or something like that, and apparently this particular cape, 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 bleh, this particular cable was not marked and as they're burrowing the holes underneath you know underneath um they sliced a cable so we had no tv no internet no nothing for like three hours so anyways i wasn't even sure this was going to come back in time but anyways it came back about 45 minutes ago so everything is good hey rose thanks for joining me happy wednesday to you too Okay, so that takes me up to date on the internet, so we'll see how that goes. All right, what else do I have? Okay, Judy's Paper Crafting Community. I got no pictures yet, guys. So again, it's all about the everyday heroes. Um, just a little thank you card. Uh, just even a hello card. Have a great day, anything like that. Uh, so you post... Um, pictures of a maximum of five cards you can post more if you'd like but you're only going to get five tickets for the draw okay so for every card that you post you'll get a ticket for the draw and also there's a part two to this if you actually um, give one of your cards to someone whether it be at a restaurant or just you know whatever um gene i did say hi to you i'm here too okay i did say hi i know i said hi but anyways, um, yeah, we'll have to watch the replay because I'm pretty sure I said hi. <laughs> uh, anyways, but anyway, so if you give your card to someone, post that as well. And uh, you can be, that will be a separate draw and you can be entered into that draw as well. Again, maximum of five. Okay. Uh, just a reminder, it doesn't have to be a, a four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half card. It could be a note card. Uh, it could be a little three by three card, uh, whatever, you know, whatever. Oh yeah. So that, because I was late and posting that, that this challenge will run until June 5th. Okay. All right. Okay. The promotion for the starter kit. I have to talk about that. Um, okay, so normally the starter kit is $135 for $165 worth of product, including a paper pumpkin, and there is no shipping charges and no tax. Great deal. However, for the month of May, this ends on May 31st, so for the month of May, Stampin' Up! is throwing in an additional um, over $90 worth of product. So you will get all the in color uh, ink pads and you will get 25 sheets of grid paper. This is not the size, they will be 11 by 17, but this one is the um, sweet sorbet. So you'll get them in the five different colors. You'll also get a pack of um, 
40 of these cards, not cards, paper, okay, with the five end colors. Beautiful. And you will also get uh, a pack of the cardstock in these five colors, okay? So basically, normally it would cost you, um, it's over a $300 value that they're giving you, uh, and you can get this for only $135. Like, I wish, I really wish I could sign up again because I think this is a terrific value. So anyways, and then on top of that, once you join, uh, but the sound keeps blanking out. Oh, geez, it better not be my internet. <laughs> ah, I will I will just shoot myself. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, so $135 for over $320 worth of product. Great deal. I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, plus, plus you'll get for the first three or four months, uh, you'll get a 20% discount off anything you order. So again, it's a it's a win 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 all the way around situation. Okay, that is that for that. Now one more thing that I'm going to mention for me, this doesn't have anything to do with Stampin' Up. I am participating in a what's called a craft D stash sale on Saturday, May 28th at the Ballantrae Community Center on Aurora Road. So. It's, it's um, the Paper Crafters Workshop in Stouffville is basically sponsoring this. And there are 30 participants that have booked a table. I have booked a table. The tables are six feet. I could have booked three tables, but I only booked the one. <laughs> um, so anyways, I will be there. There is, I'm pretty sure there are gonna be phenomenal deals. So if you're local and you want to come check it out, that's Saturday, May 28th at the Ballantrae Community Center. I will post it. Um, I'll post it online so so that um, you'll have the reminder. Um, okay, I'm still a little frazzled over the internet being down and whatnot, but anyways, at least it's up now. Uh, okay, then let me. Turn the camera down and we will get started. Okay, so bear with me guys, just bear with me. Sometimes this works well, sometimes it doesn't. But, oh, I gotta go the other way. There we go. And let's see what I can do. I'll try and get this. I gotta come way over here. Okay, we straight, pretty good. Okay. All right. I think that's good. Looks kind of, I'm just trying to see. All right. I think I'll bring in the light here. Whoop. Okay. There. Okay. Okay. So this is week three of the flowering fields. I know it's I know it's in here somewhere. I should have flagged it and I didn't. Here we go. Okay. So it's in the mini catalog on page 14 to actually page 14 to 17. So you get all this great stuff. Okay. And you get, now you know what, the nice thing I like about these the, these catalogs is that they always show you samples of what you can do with the product, which I really like. Anyway, so that's in the mini catalog. The mini catalog only goes for another month till the end of June. The annual catalog is, um, is available now. So if you need a copy and you don't have one, uh, let me know and I will get one out to you. Okay, so we get the, uh, we have the evergreen ribbon comes in the uh, set. We have the um, brash, brash, <laughs> brushed brass butterflies. That's a mouthful. Okay, so we have those. And we have the tulip fields and the windmill fields dies. So this, the, this set is um, retiring the end of June. So if you're interested in that, 
you should get that soon because come the end of this month, it'll probably go, um, it may go discounted, but it'll be last chance and it may disappear rapidly. And the other part of the suite is the flowering tulips and the tulips dies. And this has actually been carried forward into the annual catalog. So this is going until, I guess, the end of April of next year. Okay, so this is the ones we're gonna play with today. So just as a reminder, this is the one, the card we made two weeks ago using the uh, tulip fields and the windmill dies. Okay, I just really like playing with this. <laughs> okay, and then the one we made last week was this one. Okay, and then the one we're going to make today is going to be um, something like this. <laughs> There's a story. There's a story to this that I'll share with you guys. So I've had some problems trying to make these flowers, but anyways, I think they turned out okay in the end, but I will show you what I've done. So let's start at the beginning here. So these are the dies. All right, so you've got these three are the outer dies. Now, some people are not using this middle one in one of these. I don't remember which one it is, but I prefer the middle one in each one of these. And then these are the really middle ones. So um, you get three, of, you get one each of these and you get one of these, but you get three of these in the dies, okay? And I think maybe they only give you one because you really only need it for one flower, but I prefer to put them in both of these flowers, okay? So anyways, if you have any questions as I go along, please feel free. I will try and watch the comments. So um, I took some design, I, oh, I don't know how many videos I watched trying to see what was the best way to do this. So a lot of people have taken um, designer series paper and made them. So I took some designer series paper and made it and I wasn't in love with it. Oh, here's another one I did. And I really wasn't in love with any of these, but could just be me because everybody's card I looked at looked really nice. So could just be me. So then I tried the blends and I tried to put, I don't know which end is okay over here. I tried to put a little bit of um, shading in it with the blends. Okay. Um, it was okay, but it didn't work that well for me. And again, it could just be me. Then I tried to do the watercolor, um, and that didn't work that well. It's not bad, but again, uh, I wasn't that happy with it. So, and then I did it on watercolor paper. This was just done on um, regular cardstock. So then I tried it on the watercolor paper, and that didn't work for me either. So in the end, pick all these up. I decided that I would just go with just regular cardstock. <laughs> now, you guys can try whatever you'd like, but for me, the plain, simple cardstock worked the best. Okay, so I have all my little goodies here. I've already gone ahead and cut most of this. And I will tell you, I will show you how to make these flowers and then we'll put the card together, okay? Okay, so this one is, this is this little one here, this guy here. So this one is made with Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia, okay? So as you, I don't know if you can see, there is a little crease here when you cut it. So a little indentation, okay? And you can just fold that over like so okay now there's a lot of um there was a lot of discussion on different pages i went to whether this was the top or this was the top so i'm gonna go with this being the top because it is scalloped <laughs> so again i don't know if there's a right or wrong but that's what i did 
<laughs> you know, I had a lot of fun with this. Okay. So that is being the top. Can you guys, I hope you guys can see okay. And what I did was I took my bone folder and I just kind of gave this a little um, curl here. Okay. And I gave this one a little curl. This one I didn't curl because I thought it might rip. <laughs> so, okay. Then I took my little uh, mini dimensionals and I stuck one on the back of this. And again, I'm gonna assume that this is the top because it's scalloped, okay? <laughs> But again, who knows? And then I just, I peel that off? Yeah. And then I just kind of stuck them in there. And I just had them picking up just a touch. Not too much there, just like that. Okay. And then because I put the dimensional on there, I found that the, the um, glue didn't work that well. So I use glue dots. The, the um, it just the glue just didn't hold as well as I would have liked. So and again, I don't know which one closes first, and I don't care. This is the way it's gonna work for me. So, <laughs> so whether there's a right or wrong, I have no idea. But that's the way I'm doing it. I will just put a little one in there. All right. So there's our first flower, okay? I hope you guys can see okay. All right, so the next flower will be this one. And I even wrote down the colors. So this is Poppy Parade, Calypso Coral, and Petal Pink, all right? So that's what this one is. And again, you've got the crease here so you know where to fold, okay? So we're just gonna fold that in half. Oh. There we go, okay. And then this is this middle piece here that I was telling you about, it cuts like that. So again, I took my bone folder and just kind of gave it a, a bit of a curl here. And also the center, I gave it a bit of a curl too. You don't have to do this. Um, I know a lot of people didn't, but I, I don't know, I just kind of liked it. So then I stuck a little piece of, um, yeah, mm -hmm. mini dimensional. And I just kind of, Put that in there. And then I put another little mini dimensional in, on here. I probably should have done this the other way. And yeah, I'm gonna have to pull this one off. So you learn from your mistakes. Okay, I'll just put that one. Ugh. Okay, put him there like that. And then we'll put this one back in. There, pull him up a little bit on that one side. You just have to kind of play with it until you get it that you're happy, okay? And again, I'm gonna put a, um, what are these called? <laughs> Glue dot. <sighs> on this to make sure it stays. Yeah, there we go. I'm not gonna worry about this side because, um, you know, flowers are kind of, you know, they stick out a little bit, so it gives a little bit more dimension. All right, you guys are very quiet today. Uh, where's my other flower? Okay, here's, a, and the last one is I did this one in Pumpkin Pie, Mango Melody, and So Saffron. Okay, and again, there's your two folds. Okay, 
I'm going to fold that and that. And then I'm going to, oh yeah, the bone folder. I'm going to give this a little bit of a curl. And this one a little bit of a curl. And do the same thing here. Mini dimensional. We'll go in here. Hope you guys can see okay. And one more mini dimensional. You don't have to do a mini a mini dimensional on each one. I did, and I, I don't know if it might actually be too thick to uh, mail because as you can see, it is it is kind of thick. So I don't know. Maybe it'll be one of those cards where you'll just have to hand it to someone instead of mailing it. Okay, and then just pull that over. And again, I don't know which which end should be on the top and which end should be underneath. So, um, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> That's the great thing about this. There's no right or wrong. Actually, I think I'll put that one in first. Okay, so we'll fold that one over and then we'll fold that there. Oh, you can still see that glue dot. I'm gonna push him in a little bit. There we go. All right, and there's your three flowers. Okay. Now, I thought, oh, I should show you the dies here now that we've done it all. <laughs> so these are the three dies for the flowers. This is, like I said, you got one of these. So that was the middle piece. And then you got three of the smaller ones, okay, for the center. So then I took this little piece here. I thought this was kind of interesting, okay? So I cut out, um, all, it just cuts it out and makes a little design. So I cut that out, okay? So that's what that is. So I have here a piece of Thick Whisper White. I'm just looking for my bone folder. So I'm just gonna give that a good press. Okay, so this is Thick Whisper White, which is um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of Pear Pizzazz. And this one is three and three quarters by five, okay? And will I glue this on now? No, don't wanna glue that on yet. And then this other little piece here, the white one is four and a half by three and a quarter, okay? So I'm actually gonna do, put the flowers on, okay? So this, one, this card that I did here, these leaves, stems, pardon me, the stems are very thin and I had an awful time trying to put the glue on. So I said to myself, well, why would you do that? You're just talking about how wonderful the adhesive sheets are. Why didn't you do that? So I said to myself, yes, you silly girl, you should do that. So I recut them. Well, when I, when I cut them for, to, for the demo here, I, use the adhesive sheets, okay? All right, so, hi Brenda, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. All right, so, I thought these leaves were kind of dull. So, I took one leaf and I stamped it um, in, the, in the same color in the pear pizzazz. And I thought that that kind of popped it a little bit. So what's your opinion? Should I stamp them all, all the leaves in the pear pizzazz? I'm just gonna leave the stems. Um, but do you think it looks better stamped? Anybody? 
Anybody, is anybody there? Shall I stamp the leaves or not? If you look at the stamps and dies, they are showing the petals top side up, so you are correct. Ah, the scalloper is the top. Yes, yeah, stamp them. Okay. All right. Okay, people, I will stamp. Just hold your horses now. I have to find the stamp. <clears throat> okay. So we will stamp. Something else you could think about that I'm going to ask you as well. Oh, I need a big block. Um, does it need a sentiment or should I just leave it? I found a little sentiment here that I cut out that says thank you. But I think because I put the ribbon on, um, I don't know. So maybe I could just put the thank you there and leave the ribbon off. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave the ribbon off, put the ribbon on, put the thank you on, take it off, just leave it the way it is. <laughs> just leave it the way it is. Help, I can't make any decisions. All right, so I'm just gonna stamp this in the uh, pear pizzazz. So it's the same color as the leaves. So it's just gonna give it a bit of shading. And these are two sizes of leaves. So I wanna make sure I stamp the right size. And I just cut a bunch. So I'm just going to ink that up. And it goes this way. One. Two. Oh, it fell off. Three. And two bigger ones. Yeah, I really had no idea what I was doing when I made this card. I really winged the whole thing. And I have a feeling I'm going to be winging it again today. Which is okay, right? Okay. All right. They are now stamped. Okay. So no sentiment. Leave it blank. Okay. Perfect. Bye-bye, sentiment. <laughs> okay. So I pop the flowers on here with the... Um, maybe I shouldn't even pop them because they're full enough. Um, hmm. What do you think? I think I want a little glue dot in there. I was kind of sticking up a bit. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I don't think I will pop them. I don't know. If I pop them, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just pop them. Oh, but I'll pop them with the little guys. So we'll just put a little one on here. And then that way I can slide the stems up easier. And then I can position the flowers where I want them. Okay. All right, so we'll put one maybe there. And we'll put one down here a little bit. And the last one. We'll put over here. Maybe that needs to come over a little more. I haven't actually pressed these down yet, so they're just kind of sitting there. All right. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now I can hopefully peel my stems off. And put that one there. I'm just going to trim them off at the end if they're too long. So again, I put um, adhesive sheet on it. If 
but it's kind of sometimes it can be difficult to take off, especially when all my nails have broken, my thumbnails have broken. All right. And we'll put that one like that. And one more. I'd be lost without this take a pick tool, let me tell you. I want that to go that way, or do I want it to go that way? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just put it that way. It's kind of straight. Okay, like that. All right. Now, the leaves, again, I can just kind of, I guess, put wherever I want. You know, I'm just going to get my scissors and trim those stems off. Or, I, no, I'm just going to trim them off. <laughs> or, 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 could, could, could. Okay. All right. So, I'm just going to glue the stems on. There's my big one. And we'll put a big one there. I think I'll just glue them as I go. I could actually pop them. That might be kind of nice. What do you think? Popped everything else. We might as well pop the stems too, right? Or the leaves. Maybe we, that's not what I want. I want the dimensionals. Oh, my glue dot's still there. Okay. If I don't like this, I will take it off. Okay, put him there like that. I think I'll put him up a little bit higher. Oh, that looks better popped, I think. Okay, and sometimes that's easier than using glue too, so. Again, you guys are very quiet. What's new and exciting going on in your lives, anything? Anything, anything? Hmm. What's the big one? Where's my other big one? Here he is. Okay, I see your lives are just as exciting as mine since no one commented that there's nothing going on. <laughs> All right, so I have been very busy packing for this craft D stash and pricing stuff. Oh my goodness. I never knew I had so much stuff. So I'm really looking forward to this um, D stash. And I will say that none of the stuff that I'm taking to this sale, I have no. Um, no stamping up stuff. It's all everything else. Are oh, you going to dinner with the girls from Cook? Who are you going with? Who's all going? And why wasn't I invited, eh? <laughs> uh, Rose and I used to work together. So, oh, I, I can't go that way. Well... I think I stamped this on the wrong side. Maybe that's what I did wrong. Okay, we'll just put that one up there. And we'll put a little one down there. Uh, one more. Oop. Well, whoever you're going with, Rose, if I know who they are, 
um, say hi to them for me. I don't know, what do you think? That one just doesn't, just doesn't work. I can't get them in there. Let's put them right under the flower. Okay, he just looks stupid. Any ideas what I can do with this guy? What if I stamped him on that side? Uh, I don't want to cut him off. I got to put him down here. I think we're going to have to rearrange these. Maybe put that one there. I think there's too many now. Okay. No, I still don't like it. What I'm open to suggestions here. Maybe this one needs to go. I don't know. Put him under there like that. There, that'll do. Now I need another little thing here. And again, I'm just talking to myself. Make it shorter and put it behind like your other card. Yeah, the other one I put behind the stem though. That's the problem. Let's cut it, Jean. <laughs> okay, maybe like that. This isn't going to be able to... This one can't have a thing on it. This one will be flat. on here and put him there like that there that's better and then we'll put this one back here I'm gonna move that one up all right okay might not be perfect but it's not bad Okay, now I have to glue this on here and then I have to put the ribbon on. So I'm just using my trusty glue. You go with Deanna, Tammy, Sue, and Elaine. Oh, awesome. Oh, you'll enjoy that, Rose. Yeah, it'll be good. All right. And that's on. And then I cheated with the ribbon. I just put it behind. I'm just going to use a couple of glue dots to keep it in place. One on this end. Wow, I think it's very staticky down here today. It's cold again today. I'm so frustrated. It's hot and cold. I wonder we're not, we're all going to get sick. Okay. So I just put the glue dots on. I'm just going to put this around here at the bottom. And I, my glue dot fell off. <laughs> Stuck to my finger. There we go. Okay, one side done. And pull that around the other side. Oh, the glue dot fell off this one too. Oh boy, 
sometimes, you know. Okay, so then I just took this piece of ribbon, this extra piece of ribbon, and put it through here, and just tied it in a knot. And I think it has to go this way. There you go, and just pulled it tight. And then I need to get my ribbon scissors and we'll just cut that. Like so. Okay, now, before I glue this on, I want to take my Wink of Stella. Oh, I love my Wink of Stella. And we'll just kind of put some Wink of Stella on here just to perk it up a little bit and give it a bit of glitter that I know you probably can't see on the camera, but trust me, it's there and it's very pretty. Actually, this orange one kind of picks up uh, a little bit of the streak. So it kind of gives it a bit of dimension on its own. And a little bit on that one. Okay. And then all we have left to do, oh, I have to put my butterflies on too, but first we're gonna glue this on. So we will glue this on to our card base. No, oh, it's stuck. That stuck because I had adhesive on it. <laughs> okay. So the this card's got bigger borders than what I normally use, but I kind of liked it. Normally I just do like an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. This is actually um, half an inch borders. I just want to hold this down where the ribbon is for a minute. All right, and then we'll take some of our butterflies, some of our brushed brass butterflies, and we'll just stick them on one there, and we'll put one over here, and we'll put one over here. Now maybe I'll put it down here, there. I think I'll move this more into the middle. No, too late, he's there now. Okay, and there is the card. All right, so I hope you guys will try and get the tulip set and are the butterflies available separately? Yes, they are, Rose. Um, I will post the um, part number and the price for you, okay? So, yeah, so if you guys make, um, make one of these cards, please post it because I would really like to see what you come up with. Um, like I said, I, I have some issues with this. And in the end, I think it turned out okay. But I would like to see what you guys can come up with. This little, um, this little thing is showing. There, that's better. All right. Okay, that's it. That's all I got today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope, like I said, if you make one, I hope you'll post it. Um, you have, like I said, the stamp set and dies are available until April of 23. So you, <laughs> you have lots of time. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Uh, you guys have a great day. Oh, and did you notice? Well, at least I think, I'm pretty sure... That it didn't crap out at all. Yay! So happy. Okay, have a great week, and um, we'll see you later. Bye now.